Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 3rd of January. James Spann back in the saddle again. Thanks to uh, Brian Peters for doing all these videos while I was away, spending a little time on vacation. Much needed and appreciated. And I will shave by uh, tomorrow, or actually tonight, I guess. They don't like me to go on television like this for some reason. Uh, let's take a look at some of the uh, sky cam shots around the network this morning. Yeah, man, it's cold. Uh, these were captured at the insane hour of 5 o'clock. That's the Inverness sky cam. Almost everybody in the 20s this morning, it was still windy at 5 o'clock, and the uh, wind chill index values were down in the teens. There's downtown Jasper and Walker County, and Here's a look at Memorial Parkway in Huntsville, up in Madison County. Ooh, look at that trough over the east. Wow. Coldest air of the season, but man, it is a progressive trough, meaning the cold air won't sit around here for long, thank goodness, if you like the warmer weather. Again, those were captured at about 5 o'clock, and it was as cold as 21 at Haleyville. Uh, looks like most of the lows are going to be between 20 and 25 as the wind will be calming down toward daybreak. We'll post those on the blog later today. And around the nation, the core of this cold air is over eastern Canada. Some spots up there down to uh, 15 below zero or even lower than that. I see a minus 20 up there. And uh, look at all the issues over the east related mainly to the cold air. Here in Alabama, all the counties under a red flag warning. And you know that, that gets on a lot of the automated uh, you know, sites where they put up the warnings. That is simply a matter of very low dew points. Dew points are below zero. Uh, breezy today. High forest fire danger, wildfire danger. That's the deal there. Look at the freeze warning all the way down to Miami. And a hard freeze warning down to Tampa Bay and Jacksonville. And then to the north, uh, winter weather advisories. Kentucky and West Virginia. Note a few counties up there into winter storm warnings. In fact, up where I was uh, just... Uh, over the past five days or so, so at Snowshoe, West Virginia, they'll see a lot of snow up there today. And lake effect snow warnings up around Erie and uh, places like that, Buffalo, as they'll have a classic lake effect snow set up again today. Uh, there's the accumulating snow across the nation today, and really much of the nation not getting much for early January. It's been a kind of a snowless winter so far, but it's early in the season. Heavier snows, the mountains of West Virginia, Pennsylvania, and back up into the lake effect snow band around Erie. And rain for the next five days, not much. Uh, this is suggesting just a trace. This is valid through uh, Saturday evening, and we might see a little bit on Saturday, but again, it doesn't look like a big deal, so a kind of a benign weather pattern here. We'll take a look at modeling. This is the GFS, valid at noon today at 500 millibars. Trough is moving off the coast. Of course, we'll have a sunny day. Won't get out of the 30s today. Cold. Tomorrow, look at that, how the pattern flattens. We got more energy coming from the northwest as you can see, but uh, hey, no moisture means no rain. And I don't think we see many clouds, maybe a few little fluffy cumulus clouds, but that's about it. And we start to warm up. Again, we won't get out of the 30s today, but tomorrow we should see low 50s. Both the uh, GFS, the NAM are showing 52. Uh, there's Thursday. Mid to upper 50s are likely. We stay dry. Friday, moisture tries to creep up the Mississippi River, but uh, we'll be dry and mild. How about 64? That's what the GFS is saying. So we'll go from a high of about 38 today to 64 on Friday. Big turnaround there. And there's the deal. As we start the weekend, uh, the flow is uh, very progressive, a little energy northwest of here. Yeah. I don't know. We might mention some chance of uh, scattered light rain there, but obviously not very much. And it stays mild. Thickness values, which is just high, is well up in the 60s, mid to upper 60s. And then Sunday, that feature is on by on this run. Again, this is the 06Z run, and we're dry and cooler. Highs go back in the 50s, which is where we should be. Keep in mind, this is Alabama. The, the average high here never goes below the 50s. We, we rarely ever have consistently cold weather. It's just not the way it works down here. Look at the European. This is uh, Saturday at noon. And again, showing maybe a little light rain, but not much, less than five hundredths of an inch. And by Sunday, pretty much like the GFS, the European has that thing out of here. We might mention some risk of a stray shower early Sunday morning, but again, it doesn't look like a big deal. We'll go to Monday of next week, back to the GFS. That's dry and seasonal, probably low 50s. Tuesday, it's got an inter interesting look. Got that strong feature over Texas. We've got energy coming down out of uh, Canada. And down below that, uh, rain breaks out over Texas. And then uh, Wednesday of next week, this is the 
11th. Look at the cold air flooding down into the northern states. That's a 1,040 millibar high. We're wet. And then on the 12th, hey, it's a cold-looking trough. And uh, look at that cold air flooding in here. Cloudy, cold, blustery, maybe a few snow flurries if this is right. And uh, this is the 12th in the European, kind of similar, a bit slower. Uh, so both models suggesting maybe another quick-hitting cold pop around the 12th or the 13th, something like that. But we go to the 18th, and it's gone. It, it, it's just a quick-hitting cold pop in this kind of pattern if we get cold air. Flow is zonal. That looks kind of wet and mild. And there's the NAO. Lower chart down there, uh, yeah, it tries to you know go to neutral or negative briefly, but it comes back up into positive territory until you start to see those downward spikes in that thing. Uh, it's going to be hard to get cold air down here for any really serious length of time. So we'll just keep watching that. But again, no sign of any long spike downward in that NAO. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today, we're back on the two-a-day schedule now. And if you live around here, don't forget to watch us on the news television this evening. That's ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.